Hey there, it's Kim, otherwise known as the Wise Woman of the Woods, and I am here today to do a card reading for you, but before we get going, I want to remind you about the book club I'm doing next month, which is the book um, from Byron Katie, I Need Your Love, Is That True? How to Stop Seeking Love, Approval, and Appreciation, and Start Finding Them Instead. So I would really love to have you join me in the book club, and if you do join the book club, you're automatically entered to win a 90 minute facilitated session of the work of Byron Katie with me. I've been a trained facilitator of the work of Byron Katie since 2005 and I just really love helping people let go of their anxiety, stressful thoughts and get clarity and find peace and it can be a really life changing experience and um, it's like I said, it's 90 minutes and it's $150 value. Now, if you cannot join the book club for whatever reason, the timing, the cost or whatever, that's fine. You can still enter the contest to win the facilitated session with me. All you have to do is just go to the link in my bio or hop on over to how, <laughs> how, no, <laughs> wise woman of the woods. I don't know where how came from. Wisewomanofthewoods.com and you'll find the information over there of how to join the book club or enter the contest. Okay, so today we are using the Power of Surrender cards by Dr. Judith Orloff. I'm a huge fan of these cards. They're one of the few decks I have that doesn't didn't come with a little book, which I think is awesome because then you get to use your intuition more, which is, of course, for me, very fun. So let's see what we've got here. We're doing a three card reading and as always, um, you can take this however it works for you. Um, sometimes people like to say a three card reading is like the first card is the um, past, second card is the future, and the third card is the present. Oh, I've got one that's just sticking up there, so that wants to come. All right, let me, it's getting a little breezy out here, so I want to make sure these are under something so they don't blow away. There we go. All right, card number one. Surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. This is interesting to me because things are opening up now. We're getting kind of um, past COVID a little bit. And, you know, I've noticed that traffic's really speeding up or picking up. Um, I've been able to socialize with people. You know, you can get out and do things. But I think it, this card is just a reminder to... Um, don't forget that we still need our rest and we need good sleep because I can see where people, we, people want, you know, I can see where the tendency would be to just get right back into like the fast action of everything. And I don't think we have to do that. I think we need to find a balance between where we were in quarantine and where we are now, because I think part of the problem is we get going way too fast and we forget to take care of ourselves. So just, uh, just slow down, slow down. Make sure you find the time to slow down and take time to slow down. Okay, card number two. I gotta make sure they don't even blow away on my lap. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. And yeah, I mean, this is really important because your, life, your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. And I think what happens sometimes is we start to think that we know better than what life is actually offering us. And to phrase, to, get, to use another phrase from Byron Katie, um, I like when she says, when she says, um, it's not happening to me, it's happening for me. And I mean, I've had to, I've had to chant that to myself sometimes when I think things are going differently than the, when things are going differently than I think they should be. And we all have that happen to us. We're all like, what? What is happening? This is this shouldn't be happening. But actually it should be happening because you know why? It's happening. <laughs> so um, your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. And the way you can do that is just to remind yourself that timing is always perfect and that it is happening for you, not to you. Okay? And the third card is, oh, this is, a, this is a powerful one. Surrender your need to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. 
Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Okay, so I'm going to be the first to say that I sometimes have problems with this because, I don't know, I just sometimes like get, you know, I'm stubborn. I can be stubborn. But it is a gift to let others be right. And if you um, can't, if it's hard for you to do this, I'm going to go back to Byron Katie again. Something I learned from her is you can say to somebody, if, if, you're, if you want to just keep the communication open you can say to them you could be right I don't know and that is just like that keeps things open so but it is also good to be yielding and not rigid and I also think it's good to be curious not judgmental and so and when you can do this it will improve your relationships so anyway wow awesome cards so our cards today are surrender to rest and sleep yes remember don't get going too fast don't get going to your pre-covid you know insanity keep some balance between you know internal and external and by that i mean like internal was quarantine and external is is how life gets going really quickly surrender to your soul's path trust life trust life it will show you the way and if you're fighting against what's happening remember what i said about it's happening to for you not to you not to you and then surrender the need to always be right and that can be hard it can be hard because we get we get stuck in our opinions and our you know points of like no this is how it's supposed to be so um give the, give the gift of being of letting others be right and and also you might learn something when this happens you if you open your mind a little bit more you can um learn more about what the other person is talking about and learn more about the other person so that's it for today. Um, I hope you've had an awesome week and continue to have a great weekend. And remember, come on, join me in the book club or just enter the contest for the uh, facilitated session of the work of Byron Katie. And I will be back soon to talk to you about who knows what, but I'll be back soon. Have a great weekend. And I'm, as usual, I'm sending you lots of love and light. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.